Well, let's speak to Nick Norbrook, editor of the Africa Report, who joins us now from Paris. Good to have you with us, Nick. Well, Faki's certainly got his work cut out for him, hasn't he? Uh, I mean, he's got political crises, armed conflict, instability, uh, a famine in South Sudan. A lot of challenges ahead. That's right. Things are going to be very, very busy for him for the first few months. He also has to deal with um, a, a very new situation at the African Union, which is the fact that Morocco has rejoined the organization after uh, several years of hard lobbying. So uh, amongst all the security challenges that you just outlined, and uh, I think Libya is one that's, that's going to resurface very soon, they, he ha also has to deal with a very uh, delicate uh, diplomatic negotiation because Morocco's uh, re-entry into the organization has not gone so easily. Yes, Morocco has been readmitted and also the, uh, the African Union is going through a period of reform, isn't it? So do you think uh, Faki is going to be able to achieve, um, I suppose, greater coordination, cooperation between all these different African countries? One of the big challenges that he is going to have to tackle, um, and it's something which worried his predecessor as well, and really stymies the organization and, and the sort of logistical power of the organization, uh, is the fact that it is very dependent on money from abroad to run its operations. So uh, Europe and Asia fund a lot of the African Union's budget. Um, that makes it quite hard to have independent action. Whether he is the man to uh, set the African Union free, I'm not sure. Yeah, and this is a, uh, there is this problem of perception with the AU, isn't, isn't there, that you know, it has been described as toothless when it comes to trying to solve Africa's problems. But it did successfully manage to resolve or help resolve the political crisis in the Gambia. So do you think that perception is changing? I think friends of mine in, uh, in the West African body known as uh, ECOWAS would rather say that they were behind the successful uh, resolution <laughs> in the Gambia. But what did change was that the African Union immediately took a strong line on the Gambia. Uh, and in the past, it hasn't done so. We we're talking about Libya just now. Uh, when Gaddafi was overthrown, there was a, a deafening silence from the headquarters of the African Union. So perhaps now they've turned the page and they are going to be uh, on the front foot when it comes to denouncing uh, third and fourth term presidents. They certainly will have their work cut out for them. We have um, you know, elections coming up uh, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, for example, where Joseph Kabila should be leaving, uh, whether they manage to set the example there as well remains to be seen. Indeed. Nick, great to speak with you. Thank you very much indeed. Nick Norbrook there uh, speaking to us from Paris.